Growing up, one of my favorite children's books was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It was about Charlie Bucket, who was a poor boy who lived near the Wonka Candy Company, and Willy Wonka had closed his factory due to some problems uh, and fired all his employees. And one day, Wonka announced this contest with which five golden tickets would be given worldwide, randomly in his candy bars, and the winners would receive this full tour of the factory and a lifetime supply of chocolate, and one ticket holder would be given a special prize at the end of the tour. So this was a very coveted offer. Everybody in the world started going crazy. The sales of Wonka's chocolate skyrocketed, and four of the tickets were found quickly, and the last ticket was found in Russia. So Charlie was heartbroken. He didn't have enough money to even purchase so many candy bars that others were able to purchase. One day he was able to buy one, and by chance he ate it, and he discovered the real fifth ticket. The Russian ticket was forged. So Charlie and Grandpa Joe were two of the luckiest people in the world who were able to enter the factory. And at the end of the story, they were the real winners. And I won't spoil the ending for those who haven't read the book. But that's exactly how it felt waking up for Tahajjud. When you wake up for Tahajjud, it's as if you've been given a golden ticket. You have been given access to the special hour, the special time in a worshiper's life where they can connect to their Lord and have all their du'as come true. It's like that special magical ticket, but it's available to every single one of us. And there's beautiful hadith regarding this. One person asked the Prophet وسلم, tell me something, Ya Allah, Ya Prophet of Allah, if I were to do it, I'll enter Jannah. So the Prophet وسلم, said, He said, feed people and spread the salam. Give salam to everybody and pray. Pray at night while people are asleep. Then you will enter Jannah peacefully. SubhanAllah, that's the secret. Just waking up just to pray even two rak'at before Fajr comes in and your du'as will be accepted. It is that easy. There's a beautiful hadith I was reading that in the Prophet Wasallam said, whoever wakes up at night saying, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Then you make dua, say, oh, Rabbi ghfirli, oh Allah, forgive me. Then your du'a will be answered. And if you get up and perform wudu and pray, your prayer will be accepted. And this is a sahih hadith. It's in Abu Dawud, one of the six sahasitta. This is an important, amazing, easy benefit that we can all take. It'll be like getting that ticket free. I just wanted to mention something that happened this morning. Uh, we're here in Southern California, Los Angeles. We don't get a lot of rain. Last night before I went to sleep, the rain was not a lot. It was It was constant, but it wasn't like a downpour or anything like that. It was slow and steady. I went to sleep and subhanAllah, I woke up just in time before Fajr came in. And when I woke up, there was a downpour. I don't know how to explain it. It was as if someone turned the shower on outside. Outside meaning in the proverbial shower that we all live in with the downpour of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as I did my wudu, as I prayed, it was pouring. And as I finished and I made my dua, and as Fajr time entered, the pouring started diminishing until it became a pattern until it actually ended the rain ended at the time of fajr and that reminded me that it was a downpour of allah's rahmah of allah's mercy of allah's favor that at the hajjah it is a downpour for every single one of us allah's there to answer your du'as allah's one is there to listen to you he says who is there who's going to wake up who is going to wake up from amongst us then it's so comfortable to sleep and the shaitan we know he ties three knots on our neck and the, the hadith we usually think is for Fajr, but it refers to Hajjad. When you wake up and you read your dua, the first t- knot is untied. You go to your wudu, the next knot is untied. You pray your salah, the knots that are untied from shaitan. And if not, you wake up in a very sleepy, slumbery type of a state. If you don't wake up for Tahajjad. So these are easy ways to get that ticket to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will answer your du'as. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be those lucky golden ticket holders for dunya and which will allow us to enter into his genital firdos for the akhirah better than any chocolate factory, better than any lifetime supply of chocolate for all the as chocolate lovers out there. SubhanAllah, we get rivers of chocolate inshallah.